Hello everybody! We are back with uh, Season 7, Episode 2 of The Walking Dead After After Show. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've decided on that name. We're, it's done. Yeah, we might get sued for like the uh, Walking Dead Talking Dead After <laughs> Show. Yeah. So let's keep it the After After Well, show. like even some other channels do like an After Show. But you know, I respect the Talking Dead. But, you know, that's the After Show. Yeah. That's the After Show we need. <laughs> Man, we but you know we've upped the game. We have a set piece now. <laughs> we we have uh, our own version of Lola from yeah. Chris's Halloween costume. Or uh, Lucille. Lucille. I don't know. Why I said <laughs> my daughter's name is Lola. Yeah, probably because yeah. she's like right in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just hanging out. Yeah. She wanted to be a part of it. I was like, what happened on the last episode of Walking Dead? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there you go. I bled for this thing though, man. It was harder than it looked. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Dude, fighting that bat was hard, but uh, we didn't even, you know, the, we didn't see. This was a slow one, man. Carol, just kind of Carol, and you know, uh, Carol and Morgan just kind of hanging out, and you know, we we get introduced to the kingdom. Yeah. Kingdom so, cool. like, uh, he's carrying, uh, helping carry Carol with. Uh, two guys on horseback, and I was like, man, why are they on horseback? But seeing the kingdom, it. Oh, yeah, like, why are they in fucking hunting pads? They, <laughs> yeah. all have, they all have, like, lances and horses. They're knights. Okay. It uh, makes a lot more sense. It makes sense a now. lot. Yeah, <laughs> and the only thing that doesn't make sense is Carol's hallucinations of normal people. Yeah. You know, I just, I think she's just, like, seeing the zombies as, you know, the people they were now, you know? Yeah. Like, she but, don't even want to kill people anymore, you know? Like, she, she's lost her edge, you know? Yeah, I think she'll eventually get it back, but... I mean, she reverts right back into it. Like, yeah. bullshitting with Ezekiel. Yeah. You know, she's like, it's all just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but uh, for the scene, they actually used... Uh, a lot of the actors were twins, so they didn't have to, like, change makeup. I guess it was, like, a time saver. Yeah. To, to do or something like that I, I don't know <laughs> but it was uh, it was kind of awesome like it's like oh there's two of them I get it yeah like the Talking Dead showed all the pictures and stuff but yeah. so that was just you know save time on having to reshoot everything and do makeup you know like, yeah like, oh, right, get, 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 get twins in there yeah. real quick <laughs> man those scenes were like cool because it like Kept switching back and forth between zombies and people, yeah, like, like right at the money like, shot. Blah, they're switched into you know. Yeah. Human Man, I guess let's uh, jump into uh, the biggest character of this episode, Ezekiel. Man, we finally get to to meet Ezekiel, and he's just like this over the top king, and he's got a tiger, right. like uh, Shiva. Shiva. Shiva, dude, I was like. I was like, man, how did they get that? That tiger is not real. Like this yeah, is yeah, the tiger is obviously. Not well, real, this man. is the first time they've usually used real animals and stuff like that. But they're like, they're getting so good with the CGI now, man. Yeah, Jungle Book. Yeah, yeah. they <laughs> they were like, you never really know what happens on set with animals. It's like this one. We they always maul at least one person. We we they didn't want to risk it. They're like, eh, we. This was like part of it was animatronic though. Yeah. Uh, so it was a little bit of both. It was a little bit of CG, a little bit of animatronics, but it looked really good. And you're just kind of like, how does this guy have a tiger? Uh, how is he like this over the top? And everybody kind of just bites into it. Oh though. yeah, he talks with like the old English and everything. Right off the bat you're like, oh this motherfucker's in crazy. Yeah. yeah. But I mean so many people follow him and I guess it works for him because like all these guys like, you know you see everybody um, start kind of training and you know, he has all these people that, that serve him. But we find out really quickly, this guy is not everything, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Like, Carol has no idea what's going on, because most of the time she's at the compound playing Happy Carol. It's amazing the whole time yeah. she's sneaking and stealing stuff. And oh, yeah. 
I, I thought it was all really kind of funny, especially when she nabs the chocolate bar. Oh, yeah, she takes her knife, and then, like, they're still not looking. So grabs that chocolate. chocolate <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, her chocolate, man. Yeah, oh, but then we get, uh... We get Morgan actually goes out with him and uh, to to capture some pigs that were let loose. They weren't really let loose, but uh, and they are feeding these pigs walkers. And you're because man, they say never trust anybody with pigs. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Like they because pigs will eat anything. And you're like, okay, why would they? Why would they do this? But then immediately after you see these guys have a deal with Negan's group. Yeah. Um, a lot of people in the kingdom don't know about it. Like just kind of his small court of people know about it. And Which is bringing Morgan in on. Yeah. He likes bring, Morgan right off. Apparently yeah. like Morgan's really trustworthy. You ask him to train the guy who's kind of a yeah. pussy. Well, well, he talks about him killing that one dude, and he's like, because you know I could do it again. And he's like, nah, because the the opposite, because Morgan don't like killing people. Yeah. He but I also him. love that line, too. Like, why the fuck are they feeding these walkers? Or feeding the pigs walkers? And then, you know, the saviors roll up, and they're like, hey, they look fatter than last time. And you're like, yeah. oh. They're, he's like trying to set a time bomb off. He's feeding them tainted. Like, I don't know that it's going to do anything. And maybe it just good. makes the pigs bigger, you know. Like maybe he's just like it's like spitting in somebody's food. Like they're gonna be all right, but you know you got that last laugh. I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember the cannibals? Uh, like they freaked out when they found dude was bit. So yeah. we don't really, we haven't really seen the effects of, you know, what happens with. They they go they got they got a blurred line like. You know, like, don't let them scratch you, don't let them bite you, but, you know, let's blow their head off and get blood and guts all out. Yeah, and, like, they put that, like, season one, they cover themselves in the blood and guts. i got to rationalize. It's saliva. Don't let them spit on you, you know? Yeah. They they, they put the fingers in their mouth, and then they'll scratch you, too. Yeah. Uh, So... The blood don't really do it. But we've kind of just seen, you know, uh, we see he's not all he pretends to be. But um, even the kid said it, Ezekiel does not want to take on Negan's group at the time because he does not want his people to die. Yeah. Um, but I think with with him, if we get him, like the kingdom, the hilltop, and Alexandria, dude, Negan's going to get his. Yeah, they're going to play the long game, you know. Playing, I think, playing chess, they ain't playing chess. Yeah, uh, I think they're, they're trying to make, like, his group sick. And then we also have, uh, you know, I think when Carol finds out what happened, she's going to go crazy again. Well, see, Carol, Carol, oh, what, what happened when she to was gone? Yeah, yeah, dude, uh, she's like, because, I mean, that's like one of her kids. Like, yeah. you know, she very much um, she was the most apocalyptic PTA mom. Yeah, <laughs> uh, she wasn't in the, like, she, like I said, she was much younger in the comics, but her being older in this definitely you know it, it, it works like she is the the zombie PTA mom like yeah. you said um, but also you know something we didn't say about Ezekiel he breaks character with Carrie like he sees through her fucking you know her like I was about her, to, to get on to that I say her sunshine about everything type thing yeah. he sees through it you know and he even drops the old English accent. Yeah, yes, um, I was talking a little bit. <laughs> I was about to, to get into that, actually. Like, you know, he sees through Carol's BS, and he knows, like, who character Carol is at, like, the core of her character. And he comes in, and he's like, don't bullshit a bullshitter. He was like, I know you know this is all fake. He's like, but we find out, you know, he fakes this stuff. For the, for the good of everybody, yeah. like we find out, you know, real quick that how why the tiger listen. It all started just, with the tiger. Man. He was a zookeeper yeah. that saved the tiger's life, and the tiger never harmed him after that. Like when everything went down, he went back to the place he knew. He went back to the zoo, and the tiger uh, was the only thing left. And 
she because like man it, it goes to show you like the whole humans forming a bond with an animal thing yeah. like that that stuff's real man like if you save something's life it's not gonna forget it and it like you know the tiger protected him and then he started you know running into people and then they they just built stories around them like <laughs> dude's got a tiger i mean that's impressive like it doesn't matter if you were a zookeeper like that's impressive that you have a tiger that will not hurt you yeah like that's impressive so they built up this legend and you know he was not only was he a zookeeper he did theater yeah so he had played <laughs> kings and stuff so he just kind of he went with it but he went with it because people needed to believe it and that's what led to everything and i mean out of all really the the towns we've seen his is probably the most functional without someone there being completely batshit crazy. Yeah. Um, normally, like, the rulers of these communities at least have, like, one or two bad seeds, and we might get the you bad seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you we, got the governor. We, like, you have the, the old mayor of Alexandria or whatever. Like, we might get, you know, a character... If anybody's gonna be batshit, it's gonna be the guy who just whooped the shit out of one of the saviors. Like, the savior was just all big and bad. This dude beat the brakes off of him, yeah. and they were like, stop it. He and he was like, the like, they were gonna, like, he's like threatening Negan, and they're like, you know, you're not gonna do that. Like, you need to shut up. You're over talking yourself. Like, the saviors are kind of, like, if you don't piss them off, they're kind of manageable to deal with. Like, these are two groups that know very well that one could possibly destroy the other, but they're going to work together and just kind of deal with each other. But, I mean, at any second, if you wanted to, like, if I was Ezekiel, I'd be like, go Tiger. <laughs> tiger's all <over. laughs> You don't want to get too reckless with your tiger, though. You know, how many dire wolves have we lost already? You know? <laughs> man, For nothing! <laughs> yeah. Um, man, zombie apocalypse, though, man. That, that would be my plan, is to have animals. and Like, dude, if I want to clear... Yeah, you got to go with the dog meat, you know? Dude, if I want to clear a house out, man, I'm going to let Odin loose. <laughs> He's going to knock every zombie in that house over, and then I'm going to go in behind him and kill him. You just want to hope that, like, dogs are immune, though, you know? Well, in uh, Walking Dead, they are. Yeah. They, like, the, the directors come out and said there are no zombie dogs. I ain't seen no dogs running around or anything. Well, there's like, been a few. Like, nobody's had, like, a dog. I think I've seen, like, a pack of dogs one yeah. time running through. Uh, but, you know, I would definitely, like, definitely the animal companion if it's manageable to train them. Like, you don't want to have to go through one of those I Am Legend moments. No, like, man. Me, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, uh, besides that, we have the ending where, uh, you know, he... When, you know, Ezekiel and Carol had their little exchange, it was like, you could leave, but not really leave. And he kind of sets her up on the house at, like, the edge of town. I didn't really understand what they were going about, like, you know. Like, she just kind of, like, needs her space to, yeah. to be her for a little bit, I'm thinking. Like, I was um, confused. Did Morgan know she was staying there? Like, I, I think maybe he did, because, like... She walked, like, he put the flag down, and, like, she walked in, marked the zombie, cleaned the house up, and lit a fire, and then here comes old Zeke and Shiva knocking, and he's like, you really need to try one of these pomegranates. <laughs> and, like, the whole, like, the whole episode, that was kind of the thing. Like, I think that's how Zeke was telling her, I know you're not what you pretend to be. Because oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what the inside. That's what pomegranates are, <laughs> man. Uh, but with that, uh, that's kind of wraps it up. Like, do you have any predictions for what you think is going to happen next episode? or? No, like, I think that they're going to, you know, they started real strong. I think we'll get, 
like a pretty, you know, hopefully not, but like I think we'll get like a pretty slow season leading up. I think to like the conflict. It's just just gonna escalate. I know, think we're quickly. getting a jump back to Alexandria next week. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of want to see where everybody's going to deal with it, and I think we're definitely Morgan's going to learn what what the Saviors did, and you know he'll make his journey back to Alexandria. Yeah, because he's already then, dealt with them and don't fucking like them. Yeah, and he's starting killing again. Yeah, I think he's that's the main thing. I think Morgan is going to kind of give up the whole fucking the bullshit aspect of taking a life. Sometimes you need to take a life. Yeah, but I mean, it's with Morgan. They he's very much like kind of the. I think he's like the one character left with morals, and it's, he completely lost them. <laughs> <laughs> he was a mad dog when that for, dude found him. Well, for a while, well, we saw Morgan the first episode, and then the second time we've seen him, like he was batshit crazy, and then you know. He kind of had to take his time and come to peace with everything, and now he's back to being like Morgan. Like, but I think I th that was what had to do with like the mailbox thing. That was part of his little clearing. Thing. Yeah, you know, he had the mail, and then like you know, maybe he put it down because it ain't clear before she's gonna be there. Yeah, and then with that, uh, we have you know, I think he's definitely like he's gonna be the go-between between Alexandria and. Uh, the kingdom because of Rick. Like, Rick trusts him. Ezekiel trusts him. He's just like a trustworthy dude. Like, you know, he's he's the guy you need in the zombie apocalypse. But besides that, I think uh, we're just kind of kind of have to wait and feel it out. I think definitely we're going to get some groups start banding together. Oh, to yeah, definitely. To, definitely Alexandria and the kingdom, if not Hilltop, too. Yeah. I'm waiting to see what they're going to do with that Jesus dude. I don't trust him. He set Rick's group up. Yeah, I'd be like, you owe us. Like, you know, we lost two people because of you, and you screwed us after we did a bunch of crap for you. You know, and he's got hands on him. He's got his, you know, martial arts. I want to see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see so, if you could take the stick. That would be awesome. Yeah. But, uh, you know, in the commercial, we're still, I'm still waiting on Negan. Let me in. You know, like, <laughs> making the house call. Man, I I love Megan just as a character. I think he's so great. Like a lot of people hate Negan. I'm enjoying him. Yeah. Like I get on Facebook and I see all like the hate towards Negan. I was like, this is a villain we need. And his right hand man is totally eclipsed, but like it's Trevor. I know. <laughs> uh, I put the pictures up. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he is definitely the villain we need. Oh, yeah. Like, they showed it. Like, he... I don't... Man, like, all the villains we've had so far were, like, the secret villain. No, this guy just walks in and he's like, I'm a bad man. <laughs> and, like, like, everybody is like, you know... Who's the most hated villain on TV? Like, like of all time, like everybody was like Joffrey, and then went uh, from uh, Joffrey to Ramsey, and now it's like, hey, like, but man, I I like Negan as a character. I think this is gonna be probably the best season yet. Yeah. But uh, I guess that's it, man. Till, till next time, we will see you guys later. Let us know, man, what you guys think is gonna happen. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Let us know in the Give comments. Give us a thumb down, you know. He loves the haters. Oh, we love our haters. <laughs> like, yeah. But uh, we will see you guys back here next week after the next episode. Later, everybody. Yeah.